Welcome back, Jonas Brothers. Nick, Joe, Kevin rocked the plaza this morning, in case you missed it. Uh, a very special concert to celebrate, of course, the release of their new album, Happiness Begins. Here we go, but their sensational, sensational return to pop seemed unlikely when they split almost five years ago. Now in a new documentary, it's called Chasing Happiness. They're opening up about that time. What hurt the most is that it came from Nick because he is my best friend. And I thought that me, Kevin, and Nick were going to do this forever, and it was us against the world, you know? Then Joe finally broke down and was like, you want to be done? Fine. We're done. Wow. Good morning again. The yeah. clip that we chose, Ooh. here's the thing. I was just telling you guys Use off the camera. Clip. The documentary, <laughs> that's what they go for. The documentary was so good. I think Thank people you. are, you have so many fans, but when you see this documentary, we love you even more because it's almost an emotional roller coaster. It was relatable. A lot of us have siblings, you know, with the dynamics. It was authentic. What made you guys decide to say, you know what, let's just put it all out there. Let's just, let's just tell our story. Well, we, we met with Phil McIntyre, our longtime manager. Uh, and our partner in the doc and, and John Taylor, who directed it and is a longtime friend of ours um, and has worked with us for a long time, we just said, we want to tell this story. I feel like it's, it's worth telling. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't want to do the fluff version. Mm -hmm. We want to get into the, the nitty-gritty of it and actually talk about what happened. And, and, you know, our story is, I think, unique in that people might think it's about the band, but this mm -hmm. is really about family. As you mentioned, yep. you know, all, all siblings fight. All siblings go through tough times. Families as a whole complicated mm -hmm. uh, and if we can shed some light on that and make that okay to talk about and uh, actually get to an, uh, you know an outcome in the end that's quite positive did, did you find the process I mean when you're sitting for those interviews did you find it cathartic was it was it like a counseling session as well or, or definitely or, yeah. definitely felt like a counseling session or therapy session at times you also have to remember 10 years ago so where we were what we were having these conversations about and also some of that hurt, you kind of just put under the rug. So to pull that out again and say, all right, here it is. Let me work through this. And also for us, just to sit in a room together and say, are we really going to go there? Yeah. <laughs> so and you did. did. Yeah. So fast forward from that moment where we're looking at some of those tough times um, in the documentary to a day like today oh, oh, where the incredible. line is wrapped around 30 Rockefeller Plaza. People are all sleeping joy. outside. I mean, it's like you said, all joy. What does that feel like? And even now, I was just reading this morning, you guys have a new album out today, obviously, but you're also on the front of Harper's Bazaar, their first ever men's digital cover. I mean, so blazing new trails now. It's wild. I mean, today is kind of the icing on the cake of, of release day. Um, you know, this is a, a really special moment. New York is, is kind of always has been home base for us, New York, New Jersey. And to be able to launch this thing with a performance like that with thousands of fans at 30 Rock is, is a dream scenario. Can we talk about something that I'm sure you guys don't want to talk about? Uh -oh. I'll ask you about it I'm anyway. Scared. Bring it on. Well, years ago, <laughs> and one, one of the things, and I remember this being a huge deal back in the day, the purity rings. Oh. And, and you guys wore these, these purity rings, and they were a symbol of your commitment to abstinence. And, and now I, I read recently that you think maybe that was a mistake. Uh, not so much that it was a mistake. I mean, I think each of us has our own journey with it. Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, what we talked about in the Harper's thing, which, which was uh, an interesting thing that I'd Good. not thought about till I, re I read it, was that, you know, at 13, 14 years old, my sex life was being talked about, which mm. I'm, I'm happy to think that now in 2019, that probably wouldn't happen. I think it's highly Should inappropriate. Yeah. Shouldn't happen. And we had to go on our own journey to decide, you know, what sex meant to us and, and, um, and what that choice was going to be for us. And uh, growing up in a conservative background, there were things that were kind of put in place before we fully understood. But now, as men, and when we made the choice to become men. You know, it was, it was our choice. And now I will tell you this, fast forward again to now. We had Priyanka on uh, the other day. Oh, wait, we should play the clip. We, she talked about she's the best. She How is. you guys met. Listen to this. You met, did you wow. really, were you introduced at the Met Gala? Is that true? It is. Really? We weren't introduced at the Met Gala. We knew each other before, but at the Met Gala, because we were with Ralph Lauren, they sort of, we were the two single people, so they were like, do you guys want to walk together? Yeah. We were like, sure, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that was the first time we like kind of spent time together. Hmm. Before that, it was just like, hey, you're cute. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 that worked out well. That was my favorite well, part. My DMs, so. of you. Uh, hey, She's my you. spirit animal. I definitely didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did. I was, I was smoother than that. I probably know. wasn't even that smooth. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so your turn. Oh, uh -oh. so wait, I haven't Roll seen the this. clip. I haven't seen this. So you were on Instagram. There's this hilarious video. You're dressed as Sophie's character. Let, let's just show this video. Oh, yes. You have to tell me what this My was. My proudest work. Was this her actual costume? Wait, let me show you what look. Beautiful, Joe. <laughs> wait for the hair flip. Hopefully it's in there. What Joe. is happening? Joe. This is Halloween. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> this is not the, you know, it's funny is they don't, they don't sell a, a Sansa Stark outfit or at least the store that I went to. So that I think is just, Improvising? it's like medieval times outfit. And I just put it on and just <laughs> <laughs> improvise. There you go. You guys are fun. All right, you, so you look nothing like the Queen of the North. I definitely don't. Nothing. No. All right, before you go, we have to do Fun Fact Friday. We've yeah. shared ours. You start. What's your fun fact Kevin, today? what you got? Um, I can eat an entire box of cereal by myself in one sitting if I really want to. <laughs> milk, wow. no milk. Wow. Yeah. With milk? milk? I have to do the milk. Okay. Yeah. What that, kind of cereal? Regular occurrence? No, this is not normal. <laughs> I'm just saying it's ha it Which, has happened. Why do you know that you can do that? Because it's happened it's once happened. before. If you what need Kevin to do it, he can do it. I remember the last time Kevin had tequila. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, don't challenge us, because next time you come, we're going to have a, bo oh, a box of Here we go. Lucky Charms. What's your preference? Uh, mini Wheats. Mini Wheats. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, your turn. Oh, well, you probably know this, but there's a baby hospital in Casa Grande, Arizona, named after me. You probably know that. Yeah. You know that. No. It's, it's actually, always on the news. No, I, I didn't actually know that. did not know that. What's I the story? Know that. Why is it named after? Uh, well, I was born in that hospital, and years later, and it's a very small town, kind of between two big cities, they reached out and said, hey, we want to name the hospital, the baby hospital after you. Would you like to come and cut the ribbon? So I flew with my mother, and it was, at first I thought it was kind of a joke. We show up, and it's a parade, and it was wonderful because I get to honor my mom, obviously. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. about me. And... Um, Every year, we me and my mother send them send the nurses cupcakes and oh, that's, that's cool. kind of yeah. next level. But you it's kind of great. But it's so weird. I get texts every once or tweets every once in a while. I was like, so my son is now <laughs> on like the license. It's like born at the Joe Jonas baby. <laughs> <laughs> Casa Grande. I'm sorry. That's awesome. Yeah, forced you, fans really. <laughs> you don't have a hospital named after you. I don't. No. I don't. Mine's like nothing compared to that. I, someone told me once that uh, the collection of freckles on the right side of my face. Looks like the Little Dipper. And it does, actually, when you connect the dots, it does. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wow. stand by, let's zoom in. Which know. camera? I'm wow. never that one. Oh, there we go. That. Look at that. And your neck, or, oh, everything. You're oh, celestial. Wow. That's why. Whoa. You're heavenly. Great fun Take facts. Take it that way. Great wow. fun facts. Guys, thank you for hanging out with us. By the way, the thank new you. Jonas Brothers album, Happiness Begins, is out now, and you can catch their documentary, It Is Worth the Watch, Chasing Happiness, on Amazon Prime Video. You guys have a fantastic day. Thank Come you. back again. Thank you. Good luck on the tour. Cereal for you. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back. Yeah.